Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Pettis. It's well known in the medical community that low risk and even some intermediate risk prostate cancers are overtreated. It's also well established that some patients may have regret about their treatment choices for prostate cancer because of the mental and physical impact of treatment side effects on their overall quality of life. The average prostate cancer diagnosed because of the rising PSA will take eight years to become symptomatic and take another five years to actually cause death. That means that if you did nothing, on average, you'd live about 13 years. Active surveillance is not the same thing as doing nothing about your cancer. It's simply postponing treatment and treatment side effects until the cancer demonstrates that it's gotten worse. Patients who are most well-suited for active surveillance are those with low or very low prostate cancer and those with life expectancies of less than 10 years. Young, healthy patients are often steered towards early intervention, but they can certainly do active surveillance as long as they are committed to the close follow-up and periodic prostate biopsies. There's no widely established active surveillance protocol, but the typical schedule would be to rebiopsy at three months after the initial diagnosis to confirm low risk status, and then to do quarterly or semi annual prostate exams and PSA levels. A confirmation biopsy is necessary to make sure that the first biopsy did not simply catch the tip of the iceberg due to sampling error. The prostate is generally biopsied every one to two years, or if the rectal exam changes, or PSA changes dramatically. In older, less healthy patients, the biopsy frequency can be reduced to every two years, but they should still get semi-annual prostate exams. The triggers for moving ahead with definitive treatment with radiation or surgery are if your Gleason score increases, if your prostate exam becomes more concerning, or if the volume of disease significantly increases on biopsy, or if you become too anxious to continue active surveillance. I'm often asked, doesn't this strategy make it possible for the cancer to get worse and spread? The answer is yes, but it's very uncommon in very low and low-risk prostate cancers. Some patients will never require treatment at all and will never be burdened with the side effects that come with surgery or radiation. Active surveillance is not for everyone. There's a small amount of risk involved in waiting. However, there are a variety of genetic tests currently on the market and others soon to be available that can help to estimate the risk for life-threatening disease and ease your mind about the safety of delaying treatment. Active surveillance is a treatment strategy that capitalizes on the slow growth of prostate cancers. Many patients can put off any life-changing side effects from surgery or radiation. In many cases, patients may be able to avoid treatment altogether.